Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Growing Edge Live. I'm Allie Benjamin, and we meet here every Sunday for a spiritual tune-in and tune-up. So if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. If you're coming back for more, welcome back. We'll get going in just a few minutes as people start to jump on. Uh, I'd love it if you'd share where you're watching from. There's Rhonda. Good morning. Peace and blessings to everyone. It's a, another beautiful day on this planet. We're here in Hurricane, which is in southern Utah. And I'd love to know where you're from, where you're watching uh, this broadcast from. And also, if you've not used the chat feature, it's just like texting. You can make notes or comments in the feed below. So I'd love it if you'd um, familiarize with yourself with that because I'm going to ask you today to, to post some of your thoughts and ideas as, as I share them in my, my download today. There's Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Nice to see you. Where are you watching from? So welcome, welcome to Growing Edge Live. It's so good to, oh, Lily and I are in Ogden, Utah. Woof, woof. Lily must be your doggy. Well, I know she is. So welcome, Lily. Welcome, Cindy, Rhonda, and everyone else that's popping on this morning. My name's Reverend Allie Benjamin, and we have been meeting for over 10 years now. We went online a year ago, just over a year ago, with our Sunday virtual community, the Satya Center, Growing Edge Live, here on Facebook. And um, we offer spiritual inspiration, an opportunity for you to get together with people of like mind, people that are interested in their own spiritual evolution, and tuning in to a community that will support you in in experiencing and becoming who you're here to be and what you want to experience as your life. We create a, a container here every Sunday and throughout the week. You can pop on to the, to the Satya Center website or the uh, Satya Community website to feel uh, support, to share and to get some insights and uh, share your own insights. We are a community, a collective, so we would love to know what you're up to, how you're feeling, what's inspiring you, because we are building momentum on what we want to experience in the world. And as co-creators or creators of our experience, we know that what's happening in here and what's happening in our own lives affect our our community, our family, and that is a, a ripple out effect. What we do here affects everything else. So like Gandhi said, to be the change you wish to see in the world, that's kind of the premise that we base this, our spiritual message on. We're taking uh, responsibility for what we think and what we do because we know that everything we think and everything we do affects everyone around us. And likewise, what's going on around us affects us. So, welcome to Growing Edge Live. I'd like to start with this beautiful little piece of music by Leslie Monroe. So here we go. Free my mind, open my heart with the whispers of truth to live a conscious life, to live a conscious life on the growing edge. Om and Namaste to you wherever you're coming in from. I see Natalia and Richard. Hello, welcome and good morning. Whether you're joining us for the first time or you're back for more, welcome. You can follow us on um, Facebook at the Satya Center. You can also find us on YouTube, Satya Center, and all of our video broadcasts are archived there. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to know what you're up to. We 
we build an energy together here. It's not just me, a speaking head, a talking head, but it's us as a community that, that supports each other on our path. So please feel free to comment, to share, share where you're watching from. And I want to say thank you ahead of time for you supporting our Growing Edge Live broadcasts from the Satya Center every Sunday. Your generosity, your financial support, and your support of, of love and consciousness definitely helps us to realize our vision and our mission. It actually puts legs on our vision and mission. When you support us, then you, in essence, take that vision and run with it. And our, in, our vision is to inspire, support, and celebrate conscious evolution while we heal hearts and transform lives. So thank you for being a part of that vision. Thank you for giving legs and giving a heart to that vision. Hello, hello. I see Natalia's jumping on. And um, I'd like to start with a centering, a little meditation. So if you will, take a moment to take a deep breath, nose, nasal breathing in through the nose, and take that breath all the way down into the belly, up into the chest. And when you're ready, exhale through the nose. And another one, deep inhale through the nose. Drawing that breath deep down, up into the chest. And when you're ready, exhale. And with that exhale, have a sense of centering, grounding, and allow your breath to find its natural rhythm as together we tune in to our intention today to inspire minds, heal hearts, and transform lives. And together we are expanding consciousness as we make a commitment to ourselves and to each other to be here, to be curious, to be receptive, to be willing, to be open, and to connect with our higher selves, with the universe, with God. So as we join together today, I invite you to create a circle and imagine yourself at the center of that circle. This is a circle of light, and within this circle, you are fully supported. Within this circle, you are safe. And expand that circle just a bit. Imagine it being six feet in all directions around you. And within this circle of light, you can invite thoughts or people to step out of that circle. If, if you find that you have people or th thoughts on your mind that you want to just clear out for a moment, just imagine putting those on the outside of the circle and occupying this circle of light for yourself that is free from anything or anyone. This is your space, your time. And as we individually create our circles, we collectively create a circle a circle and a container for growth, for love, for spiritual expansion. And as we breathe, allow that breath to move down into your heart, expanding the field of love, the field of appreciation for all that you are, all that you experience, all that you have. And I call this heart breath. You breathe in through the nose. Imagine your breath coming down into your heart, expanding a field of love. And then on the exhale, exhaling through the nose and exhaling love and appreciation into the world. And in this way, we build coherence between the mind and the heart. There's a coherence, an agreement, an alignment between what you're thinking and how you're feeling. Feeling love and appreciation right here and right now grounding, and imagine dropping a line from your heart all the way down into the center of the earth, feeling fully grounded, connected, supported, provided for. Mother Earth has always provided for us, always nurtured us, 
fed us, sheltered us. And as we realize our connection, feel the gratitude and love flow between you and the earth, the earth and you, expanding that out to all beings. May all beings experience safety, support. May all beings, without exception, be healthy and strong. May all beings, without exception, live with ease and love with ease. Imagine this blessing going out in waves of light around our globe, knowing that there's been a lot of unrest lately, so we, as creative beings, can bring more light and more love and more appreciation into the world just through our intention, our intention that all beings experience peace and well-being. And just see that blessing, that wish moving out in luminous waves of light and love across the lands and the seas, touching each and every heart and mind, all sentient beings. And know that together today that we are holding that space. We are holding the high watch. We are holding in consciousness love and light and peace and well-being. And that makes a difference. Everyone makes a difference. And together, collectively, interdependent, interrelated, we know that what we think and what we do affects everything else. And so we send a prayer and a blessing out into the world. Breathe it in. Exhale. And when you're ready, open the eyes and be here now. Oh, so good to see you. Hello and welcome. Ben and Bailey and Sandy and Risha, hello. Ali Benjamin here, live from Hurricane. We're here at Willow Winds RV Park, and we're broadcasting our Growing Edge Live uh, message, which we do every Sunday. And Growing Edge really means or implies that each of us are on the growing edge of our own becoming, meaning that we are creative beings and that we have the capacity, the, f the faculties to create our life one thought at a time, one breath at a time, one action at a time, our energy focused and then projected out into the world with our intention creates a ripple of change. We affect our environment through our connection to it, through our engagement with it. There's one thing happening. It's this thing called life. And if you're breathing, then you're a part of this life. You're a part of the co-creative nature of the universe. What happens out there in the world happens right in here. And we can tap into our co-creative energy, our co-creative powers. And that's what I'm going to be sharing today. As I share my message, my most recent download, which is what's possible? What's possible? What's possible for you? What's possible for for me, what's possible for all of us? I know that if you're watching this, you've been called to be here today, whether you're watching live or you're watching it back. There's something that drew you to be here today. Something within you, I, I, I'll call it the soul, your soul, wanted you to hear something or wanted you to get a hit on the energy that we're co-creating today this synergy, the energy that's greater than the sum of its parts. You're a part of the synergy of this greater collective energy that's happening. And I believe that at this particular time in human history, in human evolution, that we're being called to expand our awareness, to step up, to, I think that we're the bridge people. Life is changing. Have you noticed? Things are crumbling. Things are falling apart. The old way of doing things, it's not working anymore. So those of us that have been on a spiritual path, those of us that have, have felt this, um, this co-creative capacity within us, 
we're being called to, to step up. We're being called to expand our, our intuition, to step up and step over into a better reality, into a peaceful world. And I know that we're going to do this together. So many people are waking up. So many people are becoming aware of what it means to be a co-creator. And that's where we are. So what's possible? Really, what's possible depends on what you believe or what you think is possible. We're only bound or we're only limited by our beliefs. So if you have a closed in belief system that says you're only capable of this amount of growth, you're only capable of this amount of, of love, you're only capable of receiving this amount of love, you're only capable of doing these particular things. If you have a belief system that boxes you in, then that's what what's possible for you. So today, I want you to take the lid off the box of what you thought was possible and embrace what's really possible. We live in an infinite, ever-expanding universe where everything is possible. We live in a, in a universe of infinite possibilities and potentialities. And each of us are divine, designed for growth and expansion. So I have some things to share with you today that I trust and know will help you to expand your ideas and your beliefs about what's possible for your life, for what's possible in the world. Because together, if we focus our attention on what's possible, then we're going to move in that direction. But if we are seduced into focusing on what's happening in the world, then we'll continue to experience more of the same. So if we want growth, if we want more peace and meaning and more love and more creativity and more excitement and more passion in our lives, then that's what we have to focus on. As tempting as it is to turn on the news or to have a, a juicy, gossipy, conversation with a friend and talk about all the things that are wrong or or watch the news that tells you all of the the awful things that are happening all of that in in a small amount is okay because when we know what's going on in the world then we know what to pray for we know what to focus on when we know what's wrong then we can focus on what we want to do about it to build a world that feels right a world that feels supportive so for this this new year we're here on the 10th each of us, as we've crossed over the threshold from 2020 to 2021, we have an opportunity to take this time to identify what do we want? What do we want our life to look and feel like in 2021? M Michael and I took some time this week to identify what is it that we want. We want to be at peace with what is. We want joyful activities. We want to have a spiritual lifestyle. We want to expand our consciousness. I want to do some creative writing. I want to create inspired art. I want to be a loving wife, a, a supportive mother and daughter and sister and friend. You get the picture. What do you want? Identify it because energy flows where your attention goes. And when we mentally identify what it is we want our life to look and feel like, watch the universe rush in to mirror back to you ways that that's happening. You'll start to see it's going on all around you. We have an amazing mind. I call it this incredible, creative, magical mind. We have invisible powers. All of us do. And it's very important to realize the power of our mind because coupled with our physical body and that ineffable spark within each of us, this mind is one of the three components to this triune nature of our being, body, mind and spirit. And our mind has some amazing mental faculties that once I point out today, I know you will begin to develop and enhance in order to bring your vision into full manifestation in 2021. You have the faculty of memory. Memory is huge. We get to use our memory to think about all the great things that have happened in the past, all the great things that have occurred that can then give give some insight to what we might want to experience. But very 
a caveat here is to say that we don't need to think about the things that didn't go well or memories of things that 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 caused us trauma or stress because we we get to create use our memory to bring forth what worked really well to bring forth the miracles to to bring forth that which we're grateful from uh, for from the past but not to come from a, a place of what we don't want so using the memory in in um in crafting and creating a beautiful vision is very important another faculty of the mind is the imagination we can imagine all kinds of things can't we as a, as i say um the word lemon and I ask you to imagine biting into a sour le lemon, what happens? What happens that your imagination instantly, for most of us, can see that lemon yellow and biting into it, maybe even our mouth waters a little bit. Our imagination is powerful. It, it, cre it creates a great amount of energy that supports our vision. Another faculty of our mind is our intuition. And if you're watching this, you've probably been on a spiritual path for some time. You've probably been aware that you have this faculty of your mind that's called the intuition. It's not the surface mind. It's the, the voice of your soul, let's say. And the, when we tune in to the voice of the soul, our intuition, we can then let what's wanting, what's seeking to express by means of us, to express, we can listen to that still small voice within us. I want to do a little exercise with you really quickly so you can get a sense of what the voice of intuition sounds like within you. So close your eyes and tune in and tune in to that and take it, take that 18 inch journey from the, the brain, the head down into the heart. And once you're in the heart, I want you to ask yourself this question. What does my soul want to share with me today? What does my soul want to share with me today? And I want you to listen. Don't analyze. Just listen. Listen to the sweetness of that voice, the voice of your soul. The master teacher said, the still small voice within. That that kingdom of heaven, that still small voice within is always broadcasting. So tune in and listen. What does my soul want to share with me today? Now go ahead and write that down in the, in the chat, in the text box below, because what spirit wants you to know, spirit wants all of us to know. So that positive voice, that loving voice, that supportive voice, that inner cheerleader, that's your soul. That's the voice of God. That's what spirit wants for you, wants for me, wants for us. So we develop the ability to tune in to our intuition and to allow that intuitive, those intuitive knowings to support us in manifesting, in realizing our vision. Another faculty of the mind is the will. And this mental facul faculty helps us to stay tuned in to what's most important to us, to stay, stay the course, if you will, to, to, to align our heart, the will, our courage with what our vision is. And then there, there's another faculty of the mind, reason. This gives us the ability to think properly, to organize our thoughts about what we're thinking, what's reasonable, how we want to expand our belief. And it gives all those things inside of us an opportunity to be made sense of and to be organized to organize our thoughts in a way that align with our vision. When our thoughts, our words align with our vision, when our thoughts, our words, our actions, our emotions, our energy align with our vision, that's coherence. That's speaking the language of the universe. That's an effective prayer. That's a powerful prayer. And you are a co-creator. So you're designed to use these faculties in, in the the creation of bringing that which is seeking to be birthed by means of you forth. And the last one is perception. We have perception. We're able to see the bigger picture. We know what's going on out in the world and we can see that there are people that are struggling, that are hurting, that feel divided. And we can see the bigger picture. We take the three trillion 
mile perspective and we look down on this earth and see one planet we see one place that is able to live and thrive a humanity that's here to support itself and we're part of that we're those bridge people that are bringing love into time and space we're the ones that are willing to stay the course see the big picture and know that we make a difference so we can use our minds our hearts and our actions to do that so I've, t I've created a little uh, a word that I, well, I didn't create the word. I've created some words that go with the word possible. And I want you to just think about, uh, about this because what's possible for you? Everything, everything you set your heart and mind to do. So I've taken the word possible and I've chosen some words to help us to really feel empowered to step into what's possible. So the first word is peace, to really be at peace with the world. Why? Because when we're in at peace with the world, we're not arguing with what is. We're being in alignment with, with what is. We know that this too shall pass. Even if something is occurring that we don't feel very peaceful ar around, we can uh, be at peace with the idea that it's moving through. We can uh, be at peace with what is. Second word, optimism. It's so important to be optimistic, to have a hopeful confidence about the future and the success of the outcome of your vision, of our vision, our global vision for peace and well-being and love to reign on this planet. The third one is sacred service. When you can ask yourself, how can I serve? How can I use this body temple, this vehicle to bring more light and love and miracles into the world? The fourth is sovereignty, when you're willing to stand in your own sovereign power, that when you're willing to own yourself and not let what's going on outside of yourself overly influence your ability to stay the course, to stay on, on course with your vision. And then the fifth one is integration. Are you willing to integrate what you're learning here today, what you're studying in your world? Are you willing to integrate what you're learning with what you're doing and then applying that into your life? This is integration. Are you willing to believe? Are you willing to expand your belief system, step out of the box and believe a great that there's something greater that's possible, not only in your life, but for us as a humanity? Are you willing to believe that we can take the next evolutionary step so that we can have a more peaceful planet. Then the word love. Are you willing to be the presence of love on this planet, the way God shows up as love? Are you willing to, to expand your field of love by feeling compassion and empathy for everything and everyone that's occurring during these tremendously challenging times. And then the last letter of the word possible is E, engagement. How engaged are you? How are you rolling up your sleeves and participating in the creation of a beautiful world? This is my wish for you. This is my hope for you. This is what I know is possible for all of us as we get together and become conscious co-creators in the world. So let's do an activation here. So listen, close your eyes and take a breath and listen and repeat. I am a creative being. I am a creative being. I tune in to what is possible. I tune in to what is possible. I use the invisible powers of my mind. I use the invisible powers of my mind. I create a meaningful life. I create a meaningful life. Together we create a beautiful world. Together we create a beautiful world. And just breathe that in and think about all of the ways you want to experience life in 2021. Take a moment to visualize deep and meaningful friendships, relationships, finances, prosperity, abundance flowing into your life so that you can bring more light out into the world. All your needs are met. See yourself participating in activities that bring you joy. See yourself serving and supporting those that, that are less fortunate. 
see yourself bringing bringing light and creativity and beauty into the world through all that you are and all that you do. And see yourself engaged with family and friends in ways that truly make a difference, that truly inspire. And just imagine, just take a moment to listen to the voice of your soul. What does my soul want to share with me today? And as you listen, as you tune in, as you turn on that yes factor within yourself, and just feel that, that, that yes energy, yes to the vision, yes to the healing, yes to the spiritual expansion, yes to peace, yes to integrity, authenticity, sovereignty, possibilities, yes, yes, yes. Just feel a full body yes from toes to head and out in all directions. Sending a special prayer and blessing out to all beings, two-leggeds, four-leggeds, winged, finned, hooved, creepy crawlers. To the stone people, the tree people, the plant people, earth, water, wind, fire, ether. To grandmother moon, father sky, grandfather sun, and to the great star nations to the universe and beyond, to the mystery, to the ineffable, to all sentient beings here on planet Earth, all those that are struggling, may they be lifted up into the light of their being. We give great thanks to all of those that are supporting, all those that are f experiencing physical challenges. We give thanks to all the essential workers that are putting their life out there so that we can experience ease and flow in our lives. We send a special blessing to all those that have transitioned, that have left this earth planet and inhabited a cosmic address. And we give thanks for our ability to think a new thought, to be a conscious co-creator and to bring greater peace and harmony into the world through our energy, through our thoughts, through our words and actions and emotions. So I give thanks and I let this prayer go knowing with full confidence it is so. And so it is. Thank you. I love you. If you want prayer support, we've got a team of, of angels, a team of prayer practitioners just waiting. Contact us through our, our website, satyalive.org. And you can uh, make a prayer request. You can do that right here. Uh, you can contact Michael, Benjamin, Ali, Allison, Benjamin. And we've got uh, teams of, of non-Facebook practitioners too that want to support you in, in moving in the direction of, of where your heart's leading you. So please don't hesitate to connect with us, your prayer partners. And again, thank you for your financial support. Without you, we couldn't do this. We, we are solely supported by donations and your generosity gives legs to our vision and mission, which is to, ins to inspire, support and celebrate conscious evolution. And in that, we are helping people to heal their hearts, transform their lives. So thank you. Peace and blessings. Namaste. Bye-bye.